Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Monday. Today I'm coming at you with our weekly Minx Monday Q&A, and before I get started, let me share the bag that I'm currently rocking. That is the Chanel Classic Flap in the Medium Large with black caviar leather and silver hardware. If you follow me on Instagram, I have been picturing this bag to death for the last couple of days, so I think I'm going to have to give it a little bit of a rest. Alright, so let's get started with the very first question, shall we? Uh, from Erica Dimples About Life. Very, very cute name. <clears throat> What are your thoughts on the Neverfull MM and Rose Ballerine? I bought it and I returned it because I was so scared of using it as a busy mom of two under five years old. But now I'm regretting it, I think. But my mind keeps thinking that the Demi Ben is the better buy and more functional. I'm so torn. Please help. Uh, okay, so uh, it says just Neverfull MM and Rose Ballerine. So obviously the uh, the monogram. I really like the combination of the monogram and the Rose Ballerine. I really think it's a very, it's a cute, cute combination. And... Um, the only thing that you have to worry about, Rose Ballerine, uh, there's a few things. If it's if it's the monogram, never full. Obviously, the uh, the patina, water stains, stuff like that. Uh, the inside of the you know the colored interior, Rose Ballerine, is a lot lighter than the uh, let's say the the Damia Ben that you mentioned. So you'll be able to notice a little bit more. Um, you'll be able to notice if it if it starts to get dirty a little bit quicker. Uh, I would have to agree with you that the Demi Ben is just. 100% just carefree. You don't have to worry about it. It has the treated leather. It has the red interior. So it will be able to hide a little bit more of the marks if it were to get any. Um, but it's just, you can use it year round. You don't have to worry about, you know, what kind of weather it is or anything like that. So for that reason, especially if you have two little ones that you don't want to have to, you don't want to have to worry about your bag, right? When you have your little ones, I would have to say that the Demi Ben would probably be a better bet, and maybe you can get a Rose Ballerine one later in the monogram. Um, but it all depends on what your heart says to you. If you're still thinking about it even after you returned it, then I would just go for what your heart sings. Even though we can suggest that the Demi Ben is a better buy, it'll be better in the long run, it all depends upon what it is that speaks to you. You know what I mean? Because there's been times that I know I should get something else, but my heart just keeps going with something else. Else. So just, you know, if, if you keep thinking about it and keep thinking about it, then maybe, um, maybe you just want to add it back to your collection. But that I just wanted to point out those few things to just kind of keep in the back of your mind. If you decide to keep the Rose Ballerine. Uh, okay. Stephanie Nichols and Mia Mella Buggies. I have similar questions. What do you think of the new Louis Vuitton Azure and Rose combination? The Rose Ballerine. Oh, my goodness. I would, I have to say this is probably the best combination that, that the newest, uh, create, uh, the head of design has come up with. I absolutely love the azure canvas with the rose ballerine interior. I think it is perfect. It is literally perfection. I think it's, uh, it's kind of whimsical in a way. It's extremely feminine. And then you add that hint of the gold tone hardware. And I just think it elevates the, the line to a whole different level. I think it's beautiful. Uh, but I, I am a huge, huge fan. I think it looks fantastic. I don't know if I mentioned it last uh, week or the week before, but I know that they're going to add a Neverfull Azure with the Rose Ballerine interior. And trust me, if it wasn't for the one that I already had, and I use that one to, I mean, to pieces, I don't, I don't want to have two different Neverfulls with the same type of print, even though they'd be different on the interior. I would totally get that bag. But <clears throat> Great, great, fantastic combination. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay. Kyle Cheeseman, is there any bag that you would recommend for a guy? I have a uh, small leather goods collection and love adding more to my collection. Help. I honestly think that handbags are unisex. Uh, I know some people might disagree with me, but I really do. I've seen some men sport Birkins. I've seen some men sport um, Chanel wallet on chains. I think they look fabulous. Um what else? Uh, speed and literally any handbag that I can think of would look great. Um, but I really, I have to say, I really, I think I'm, I really like crossbodies on men for whatever reason. I just think, I don't know. I think they look so fabulous. So the speedy B 25 looks great. Like I said before, the Chanel walks, but again, anything would look fantastic. I think, I just think handbags are just unisex. That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> um, you know, I've said before that I've seen 
some gentlemen rocking bags way better than any any female ever has that I have ever seen with that particular bag or whatever it is, you know? Uh, we went to uh, South Coast Plaza this past weekend and this gentleman had this fabulous, fabulous Kelly and it just looked so good on him. I'm like, oh my goodness, I could never pull that look off. You know what I mean? Do you ever think that when you look at someone, you're like, gosh, I, I can't, I just can't. Uh, but I think any bag, definitely. <clears throat> oh, Celine Phantoms are another one. I think they look great. That's just, that's just my opinion. Uh, okay, Joanne Cole. We know you love Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Spending time with your husband and Edward and work hard. What are some of your other favorite pastimes or hobbies? Do you love the holidays and decorating for them? Also, if your husband ever comes around the YouTube bend, he should do some cooking videos or just his or just Instagram his creations. Do you have any tips for cleaning the inside of older LV bags? Someone, someone gave my mother a pre-loved bucket bag I believe from the 90s and it's authentic before getting it authenticated to be sure I would like to clean it okay uh, so what are the, some of the things I like to do I like to I love to read uh, I like to visit museums um, you know what I like to do <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever told you guys I like to go to model homes because obviously I live in suburbia you guys know that um, and I like to go to model homes just to see the decor of how they fix up the houses, like when they're doing open, or not open houses, but showings and stuff like that. I think it is so much fun. I don't know if I'm the only one. If you guys do the same thing, let me know in the comment section down below. But I think it is so fun because it just, I don't know, it, it almost makes me feel like, like I get so many ideas when I'm at, you know, at these model homes and I'm like, oh, I could do this, I could do this, I could do that. I don't know, that's just something I absolutely love to do. <laughs> and I've done it with my mom too, so it, we have a blast doing it. Um, and do I, do I love the holidays? I do. I am a huge, huge fan of Christmas. I love Christmas. My decorate, uh, I decorate my house like to the nines for Christmas. Um, and that's really the only holiday that I go all out for. I enjoy the other holidays, but I just, Christmas is my favorite. Um, and if my husband ever decides to, you, to do YouTube, which I doubt, you know, I've even told him like, what about Instagram? And he's like, no, I don't want to. He's, he says, he's like, I don't want, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm like, okay, whatever. But maybe I'll take snapshots of his creations and then I can share them with you guys. But I will, I will try to see if, <laughs> if he can uh, share his, his cooking. Oh, his cooking wonders. They're not wonders because they're fantastic. <clears throat> okay. Now, how do I, how do you clean the Prila bucket bag? I think the bucket bag has that, um, that washable interior that the cosmetic pouches have, right? If I'm not mistaken. And you know what I've done? I don't know. I, this is just what I do. You can decide to do it if you want to, you know, to each their own. But I have actually taken makeup remover and I've been able to clean some filthy cosmetic cases. Um, and they, they look brand new when I take it, when I take the makeup remover to it. And obviously some of the makeup removers will be a little bit more oily than others. And then after that, I just take, um, you know, either warm water or something and I just kind of soak up whatever oils it has, but it ends up leaving the interior absolutely wonderful. So that's what I have done. Uh, like I said, you can choose to do that with your, uh, with your piece. Uh, but again, it has to be that waterproof not that waterproof, that washable interior, uh, or that, you know, that one that you can wipe clean. Now, as far as, um, what's it called? Like the fabric interior of the handbags, that's a little bit different. Uh, sometimes I have taken warm water and just dabbed and see what I can pick up. Uh, I don't want to put chemicals on it or anything like that. Sometimes I have done Dawn because Dawn tends to be Dawn, um, the dish soap tends to be a little bit uh, softer. It tends to be a little bit, it's not as harsh. I've done that and just kind of very slow circle, circular motions, been able to pull off whatever I needed to. But uh, that's what I would suggest for either the cleanable, the cleanable, the washable interior or the uh, the fabric. I, I don't like to do too much to it. I'm just kind of like, it is what it is. Um, okay, Laura Greenfield. <clears throat> What is your thought on the upcoming patchwork series for LV? I love it, but I'm not sure I love the prices. Uh, I've seen a few pictures. I saw one or two on Instagram and uh, they have the, they have an Alma. They're, they're in monogram canvas. There are four bags. Uh, they have the Alma, the Neverfull. Oh dear. What are the other two? I can't remember. Ah, 
I can't remember what they are, but they have, it's, it's just a monogram bag. So think of the Neverfull and instead of it being the Keta trimming, it is black leather, which looks fabulous. And then they put patches like for the travel patches that they've added before to some other pieces. And until recently, I started using the Neverfull as a travel bag and I really like it. So I totally understand why some of you guys are like, yes, it's wonderful. It's the best travel bag to have. Um, and I think as a travel bag, especially for that Neverfull, I think it would be great. You know, it kind of looks like a like a large passport, if you will, in the form of a handbag, and it's really fun. But the thing that sold me the most when I saw the picture is the fact that it has black leather trim and the monogram print. It just looks great. It looked, I wish, part of me wishes it didn't even have the patches on there and it was just the monogram and the black. Uh, because for everyone that doesn't want to get the, the vaquetta and patina and water spots and all that stuff, they can just go for the black leather trim. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> um, but I think it would be fun, but I only like one of the bags in that entire collection. I'm not too... I'm not too keen on it. Uh, I tried like Googling it to see if, you know, if, if I could find a better picture of it, but I can't. So otherwise I would share it with you guys. I know I told you guys about this in the last video, uh, but hopefully it'll be up on the website. Hopefully it'll be, you know, on Google images sometime soon. So you guys can see what it is that I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to see if I can get the permission of one of the ladies on Instagram, if I can share it on my Instagram, and then hopefully I'll be able to either add it to this video, maybe later on, I don't know, or I can share it with you guys on Instagram. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. Let's see. Jay Peralta, 21. If you don't use your multicolor speedy this summer, can you see yourself selling it? Oh man. I talked about this last, last week. I think so. I think so. I mean, as beautiful as it is. And the fact that I was able to acquire such a beautiful piece, I think is fulfilling in itself really. Uh, but for it to just sit there and not be used, I talk about it so much on my channel that I don't want something to just sit there. I, I, I want someone to enjoy it as beautiful as it is. It should be enjoyed. It should be loved and it should be carried. And if I can't do that, I would love to be able to, uh, to sell it, but I still don't know. <laughs> I'm still on the fence about it, but, um, I don't know. I feel like every time I try to should I, you know, to use it, I just hold back. I, I need to get over it, really. That's what it comes down to. And if I can't get over it, then yes, I will end up selling it. Uh, because uh, someone on my last week's video said it perfectly. Life is too short. Enjoy your handbag. And I agree 100%. Uh, okay. Makeup Craze 21. I need your help. I'm so disappointed. I went... It has, it has a couple exclamation points. That's why I said it <laughs> like that. Uh, I went this weekend to finally get my speedy and saw everything was fine. I guess I didn't inspect it at the store, which was my fault. Uh, when I got home and saw, and saw it, the lock and key were very dark and chipped off on a brand new bag. My husband said it was just a lock and to leave it. But I said I paid a lot of money to have everything new. What should I do? He finally said that if I had strong feelings about about it to go see if they would exchange the lock. Can they do that? I've been getting my LV pieces from the Santa Monica store and I have to say I've been very disappointed every time I go. Uh, yes, I would agree with you 100%. You're paying a lot of money. You expect it to look fabulous. You expect it to look brand new. I would definitely go back uh, and they, they should have no problem no problem at all exchanging the lock for you and getting you a new one. They might even just give you an extra one uh, because it wasn't... Um, because it was so, it, I mean, obviously it showed wear and it was dark and it was chipping off already. So they might even give you another one. I don't know. Obviously all the boutiques are different. Uh, but I also wanted to take the time to let you guys know that a I think it was a few weeks ago when I did a, I didn't do an unboxing because uh, I just did a video compare or a color comparison on the poppy color. And I told you guys that there were scratches on the front button. What I would do is if you guys ever get anything from Louis Vuitton or anywhere else that has a chip on it, that has a scratch, especially when it comes to these Lux items, I would always call um, the 188 number customer service and let them know if it was damaged right away. That way, if you ever have, if you decided to return, if you ex decided to exchange it, they wouldn't think that you ended up doing 
uh, that you ended up damaging the good and that's why you were returning it. Does that make sense? So that way they can't, you know, I, I, I called immediately to Louis Vuitton. I said, hey, I just opened up the clay and I noticed that it has this really big deep scratch on the front, uh, the snap closure. And they're like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. And then that's when we talked about the exchange of the return. But regardless, I, I just wanted to bring that up to you guys. That way, if that ever happens, um, the sooner you communicate to the store, the sooner that you get it taken care of, the better. Because again, the last thing any of us want to deal with is that doubt that the sales that the sales associate will have, thinking, "Oh, they, you know, they they did that, so now they just want a new one." And you know what I mean? I just. I, like I said, I just wanted to bring it up because I don't like having that doubt. I don't want someone to think that about me personally, if something like that were to happen. So that's why I wanted to communicate it to you guys. <clears throat> okay. Next question. Melissa Ramirez. How do you feel about the wallet with chain compared to the wallet on chain? Uh, this is one of the Chanel small leather goods. I've only seen it in the boy version, but you know how the wallet on chain has a wallet that goes, or the chain that goes all the way through. You can run it through and then um, you can use a crossbody. There's just so many different ways that you can use the wallet on chain. The wallet with chain has the chain that has detachable little um, D rings on the sides, if you will, and you can just take it off. So I think it makes for a very, I think it makes for a very easy clutch to be able to, to transform it into. I think that's fantastic. Not only that, the fact that you don't have to worry about the chain on the inside taking up any space is even better. So if you were to just use it as a clutch, obviously you take off the chain and you can leave it at home instead of having to carry it with you like you would on a, on a walk or a wallet on chain. So, um, like I said, I've only seen it with the boy. Um, I haven't seen it with like the, the classic, uh, type of style. I've only seen it with the boy, um, uh, details on it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, GC by cat. Just wondering how you feel about your Chanel jumbo. I don't see you using it that much. Just wondering why. And do you still love the bag? Uh, and I brought it out. So we have some type of eye candy because I've been failing lately. Um, here it is. And it still has a little thing on the felt because it was in its dust bag. I love this bag still. And I do use it. I don't use it as often as say my medium large. I just feel like this one's just a little bit, I don't know, even though they're both caviar, I feel like this is a little bit more casual than this one is, but I still love this bag. Usually when I use it, um, on the off, uh, I mean, on the occasion that I'm, I'm just going to go out for the day and I want a really, really nice handbag, I'll just start using this and then I'll come back home and then I might switch into this. So really it all depends, but I still love this bag. I still use it. Uh, and yeah, it's just one of, it's, it's literally one of my favorite and I don't foresee myself selling this bag anytime soon. And I will say that I have used it a lot more than I did in the beginning because remember it took me forever to really start enjoying it, but I love it. And I know some people say that they're really, really heavy. Um, maybe it's because I carry bricks in my bags. I don't know, <laughs> but I feel like it's not so, so heavy to the point where I'm just like, I don't want to wear it anymore. Whereas this one, I will tell you is so lightweight compared to that one. So I, I can kind of see the, how people would say that, that, that the jumbo is too heavy. If that makes any sense, but no, still love the bag, still use it. Just not, you know, I don't go full on like week and a half or anything like that. I should, right? I should. So I can give you guys a full in depth review because I haven't done a review on the jumbo for that reason, because I want to be able to be as thorough as I possibly can and give you guys as much information about it as possible. So that's what I'm going to switch into. I'm going to switch from this to that and I will be using it for 10 days, 10 days. So mark my words, <laughs> tomorrow starts day one. <laughs> uh, okay. Jennifer, why will you do a Louis Vuitton collection 2016 for us? Uh, I think so. You guys will be, I'm looking at my stuff. So that's why I'm looking off to the side. My collection has gotten a lot smaller than my last video. Uh, you know, I've told you guys before, I, I love some of the pieces, but some of them have had to just, uh, you know, go to, to better homes and people to enjoy them because it got to the point where my collection was getting like, so like crazy, you know what I mean? And I know that's, I might, that might sound bad, but it's, it, it was a little bit overwhelming. Like, I feel like I couldn't rotate the things as much as I wanted to. 
And I just, I want to make sure that again, that someone else enjoys them and someone else loves them and you know, they're beautiful pieces and gives them the, the chance to shine, if you will, in their own collections, you know, but I think I will, but it might be a lot shorter of a video, <laughs> I think. Uh, okay. Uh, all sub all I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry. Minnie, do you think that keeping small leather goods in boxes dries out the canvas? <clears throat> I only asked because recently my insulate wallet was decl declined at Louis Vuitton because they said that the canvas was dry. I asked the service sales associate about what happens about what to do when you keep the canvas, how, what you can do to keep the canvas moisturized. My goodness, I am having issues. My apologies. She said nothing that over time it will just happen. <laughs> do you have any suggestions? I know that you have spoken about this before. I don't keep my handbags in boxes, just their dust covers. Only my small leather goods I do keep in their boxes help. Okay, so I did mention this before, uh, like you said in a few other videos. I used to have all of my, um, my Josephines in a box and... When I first took it to to Louis Vuitton after, you know, you, you guys, I told you guys about the bubbling that it had on the inside of the pocket. They said that's because I left it inside of the boxes, but the boxes I would leave open and I would allow the canvas leather to breathe. Apparently that wasn't enough. And I talked about it, like I said before, and I would always, I ended up taking everything out with the exception of luggage tags. I still have in some of the boxes and some of the other items that I'm not too worried about, but wallets, um, what else? Anything that has a little bit more of a, a softer leather inside of a pouch, like the Josephine wallet, or uh, what is the other wallet? Just anything that has that soft leather that might start to bubble over over time in the box, I would just take it out, leave it in the dust bag, and just put them on your shelf or wherever it is that you set your small leather goods. That way you don't run into that problem. Um, and, you know... Even though the, I don't think that it was the, the best way to say that it just happens. It is what it is. It dries out. I mean, at that point, I'd be like, then why am I ever buying canvas if that's what's going to happen? If I know that all my bags are going to end up drying out, you know what I mean? Like that, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> is it just me? Maybe I'm just looking into it too much. Uh, but always make sure, as you said before, you, uh, you leave your handbags outside of the boxes, you leave your small leather goods outside of the boxes. Um, and obviously like mine right there, it looks like a mess. It looks like there's a bunch of just little yellow bags, which drives me crazy. Cause I like everything to kind of be in its place, but I don't want it to dry out. And yes, it will end up doing that over time. Uh, but if you were to leave it outside of the box, I don't, think it should happen. Although I remember last time we talked about this on Minx Monday, someone said that they left their SLGs out of the box from the minute that they got it and they started to notice that it started to crack. So, I mean, I, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking like, what do you, what, what is one to do? What do you do? Like <laughs> if it's bound to happen, then does it even matter if it stays in the box? I don't know. Like, do you get, am I crazy? Am I, am I thinking, like I said before, too much about it? I don't know, but <laughs> it doesn't, um, I would just leave it out, leave it out. And it might look kind of like mine, but it's better than having to deal with it. That way you can say that, Hey, it's never been in a box and it still happened. You know, what are you guys going to do? I mean, what can we do about this? But I think they should have a better answer as to what we can do to make sure that our small leather goods stay in great condition, especially if we don't leave them outside, if we don't put them in the boxes, you know what I mean? So that's an interesting question. Uh, okay. Uh, Shraddha B. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, I am eyeing a gorgeous bright pink card holder from Yves Saint Laurent. Oh my goodness. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen something similar to it. It has the gold metal logo. Yes. On the front. Uh, do you think it would scratch the interior of my Chanel classic flaps? Hmm. That is a great question. Obviously because the Yves Saint Laurent logo is a little bit bigger. I don't think it would, oh man, I never thought about this. I don't think it would scratch the interior, um, but it might end up leaving an indentation. So if you have the card holder on the outside of the bag, it might leave an indentation on the leather on the inside. That, I mean, that might be a possibility. Like I said, I, I didn't even think about that, especially because I love their card holders. I think, I think that's something that I want to add to my collection soon. Um, 
but yeah, that is a, that's a good, huh? If any of you guys have that card holder and if you guys have classic flaps, let us know in the comment section down below if it scratches or not. Uh, I'm very, very intrigued myself as well. And which, which draws to another question. Does that mean that it's going to be fussy if that, let's say it does happen, then I don't want to have, you know, I don't want to make, you can always make sure that it's like, if you have something else that you can make sure that the, that the logo ends up hitting that so that it doesn't hit the leather, but then it's kind of fussy and then it takes away the joy of using the item, right? I would assume. So yes, let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, okay. Bags and beauty. There have, there has been a lot of buzz about the new Dame Azur, Dame Azur Croissette bag. What do you think about it? Do you think it would be crazy to use the poppy clay with it due to the color transfer issues? Uh, okay, so the Louis Vuitton Dame Azur Croissette, croissette bag. Um, it's If you guys haven't seen it, I don't think it's online yet. Just think of a Pochette Matisse, a little bit smaller, not as fussy of an S-lock, and it's in Dami Azor with a rose ballerine. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, it has a crossbody strap that is a Viketa, and it has a tassel on the side. So it's a, it's a really, really cute bag. It's a little bit smaller, like I said, than the Pouchette Matisse, but it's a very cute bag. Uh, I believe it has one slip pocket, and the bottom... It has Louis Vuitton in, uh, it's kind of embossed in the microfiber leather, if I'm not mistaken, on the bottom. Uh, so, I think it's a cute bag. I think it's a really cute bag. However, <clears throat> since they're saying it's the equivalent to the Pochette Matisse only in Dami Azor, then I would end up using it crossbody. And the reason why it wouldn't work out for me is because I love to wear jeans. I'm a jeans girl. And I just know that how the Pochette Matisse lands on my body, the, the same Dame Azor bag will end up landing on my body. And I just know that I will get color transfer like that from my jeans on, on the bag. And I think it'll cause a little bit more of that color transfer to come out. Um, I think if you're, personally, I feel that if, if you use maybe lighter colors in this, I don't, I'll, I will use jeans, spring, summer, fall, winter, you name it. I, I will use them year round. So I think that if you use this bag during the spring and the summer and you're very careful as to what you wear, like you can only wear light colors to make sure that there's no color transfer, then I think that's a great, that, then I think it's a, you know, an ideal bag, but I just know it would drive me crazy that I wouldn't be able to enjoy it crossbody. And we all know, you know, from what I've talked about before, I love the Chet Matisse, even though it is a crossbody bag, because of that reason, I seldomly use it as a little briefcase, even though I have in the past, but I prefer to use it crossbody. I think it just feels better. Um, and another thing is the fact that the strong Strap is Viketa so, uh, because of the crossbody strap. So again, the crossbody strap itself can end up getting color transfer. So as beautiful, as cute as it is, I just know it would drive me crazy. And then having that in the back of my mind that I will end up getting color transfer very, very quickly will just take the, the joy out of using the bag for me because I'll be thinking about it way too much and I don't want to do that. Um, but I think it's a, I think it's a great bag. Uh, my very good friends, Wendy, uh, who also has a YouTube channel and Sam as well. The one that I talked about last week that got the garden party, she picked it up and they look fabulous. They look great, but I just know for my sake and what I would use it for, it would just not work out for my lifestyle. Um, and it retails for 1650, if I'm not mistaken, or 1600, something like that. Uh, okay. And last question, Karen, what are your thoughts on the Alma BB and Epi leather? I'm thinking of adding this bag to my collection, but I'm a little hesitant, hesitant because I already own the Chanel mini. Do you think they would, they would pretty much compete with each other? Not at all. I'm a big fan of the Alma BB and the Epi leather because it is literally probably one of the most carefree leathers that Louis Vuitton has. And, uh, I really, I kind of like the texture. I know that I've talked about it before that, you know, I've had some Epi pieces, but not as much. It doesn't get as much love, uh, but I think they're completely different. The mini fits only so much and the Alma BB fits, my goodness, so many items in there. And, you know, like I've talked about before with Louis Vuitton, they can be so deceiving because they're really small, but they fit so many items. It, it blows my mind every time. Um, but no, I think they're totally different. Um, I know some people might think, well, 
you know, they're all, they're both small. They're both this, but no, I think they're totally, totally different. <laughs> so I say go for, it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, and then I also wanted to say that someone asked me, uh, why I asked so many questions like back to you guys on Minx Monday. And the reason why I do that is because I feel that I feel that my channel's just very interactive. You know what I mean? Like, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I don't want to just come on camera and then say my two cents and that's it. Because you guys have helped me so many times with different handbags, different SLGs, you know, um, just to make up my mind about certain items that I like the interaction that we have. I almost feel like I'm... I don't know. I feel like you guys are in my room and we're talking about bags. And then I feel like you guys are going to automatically tell me what you think about it, you know, or, in, or just like when you go with a friend and you tell them, well, what do you think about this? And they tell you, oh, well, what about this? I mean, did you, did you take that into consideration? You know what I mean? I just, I like that interaction that we have. And even though I'm not physically, <laughs> you know, in your guys' living room or if we're working out on the treadmill, like some of my, some of my subbies tell me that, uh, they work out when, you know, when I do Mix Mondays. I just, I like that. I love the fact that I come on here and I can just be like, Hey, what do you guys think? Let me know. Am I crazy? You know? So that's why I ask so many questions. It's never my intention to, to try to like be a nuisance about it, but that's just how I feel about it. <laughs> but anyways, okay. So that does it for Mix Monday. I know I had to cut it once or twice because my voice started to act up, but it's, I think my voice is here to stay like this. <laughs> Who knows? I still sound, I think, very manly. Yeah, that freaked me out because I got really deep. <laughs> all right, you guys. So I have a luxury sale going up tomorrow. I will put all the details on the description box below. And then I also have an unboxing for you guys this week as well. All right, so that does it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the wonderful questions. And I will see you all tomorrow. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.